is currently 1.42 p.m. I've been waiting for the mail to come to get this sweet new telephoto lens. I used to have a telephoto that I filmed a lot of videos on and sometime this summer it died and stopped focusing. So I've been limited on my lens selection. I picked this guy up and uh, I wanted to wait for this because we're actually about to leave for a sweet trip. So today we are headed to Owensboro, Kentucky. And what might be in Owensboro, Kentucky? That's a good question. We're meeting up with a Paradigm team for another air show. This is gonna be the last air show of the season for us. We did Sun and Fun, St. Louis, Oshkosh, and now Owensboro. So I'm pretty excited. It's gonna be a good little five day getaway. So all I have to do is load up the Scout machine, get my new lens. The Man Mobile is just about ready to go. We've got Jacqueline's bag, my bag, camera gear. We're about to hit the road for the day. Um, we're gonna split this drive in two days. So this video is gonna be the road to Owensboro. We'll get there tomorrow afternoon, meet up with the team, figure out what's going on, and we'll just roll right into the air show, which is Friday. Let's uh, get in the old van mobile and head out. So it's 4.30, we're a couple hours into the drive. New Jersey to Owensboro, Kentucky is a 12 hour drive, which isn't a big deal, we could do that in one day, but having the van mobile is a huge advantage. Halfway there, we're just gonna stop and spend the night. So I think our plan is to drive until about midnight, that's generally what we do. Then we'll find a pilot or a gas station of some sort, pull over, sleep, shower in the morning, and finish up the drive and meet up with the guys tomorrow. Side note, I don't know about this weather on the Northeast, but I legit haven't seen the sun in like five days. All right, so we've made it to the uh, the local Loves here in Ohio somewhere. I don't really know. It's about midnight. Decided to stop for the night. We've got more than half the driving done to Kentucky, so I'm happy with the progress so far. It's a funny thing, like camping at a gas station. It seems very unappealing and kind of like dirty and weird and dangerous, but it's actually something I almost kind of like look forward to, Jack and I both. And of course it's not as good as like parking in the middle of nowhere in like Moab by like a river or like out in the wilderness, but it's still cool. So in this situation, we just park the van, we've got our facilities. The thing about these gas stations is generally it's really loud the entire night. There's people coming and going. To me, I'm not, I wouldn't say I'm a heavy sleeper or a light sleeper, but it doesn't bother me. So this is the setup in the van mobile. We got the scout chilling in the corner so it's nice and secure. Got the bed laid out. Hey look, Jacqueline's here. Oh, what the heck? Um, critical detail. We tinted the windows so that pervs can't see us and then we have curtains. Shout out to my mom. We got the ventilation fan going on. We got our smoke detector which we turn on at night. I think we're gonna hit the bed for the night, go to sleep and We'll catch up in the morning with the shower system here at Love's. Good morning. This is gonna be a uh, not so comprehensive review of the Love's Truck Stop Shower. First off, shout out to Jeremy. He's a subscriber that hooked us up with his Love's Reward card, so we got a free shower. They provide you with free towels, a nice accommodating toilet, bathroom set and mirror, and of course the shower. They do a pretty good job cleaning these things, but I would definitely recommend wearing flip-flops regardless. Right, it's 2 p.m. We just entered Kentucky. We're about two to three hours away from Owensboro. I got a call from Kyle from the Paradigm Aviator team. 
and he said we're trying to do a practice tonight. We're gonna meet at some field that they picked, get set up with the team potentially minus David. We're not sure if he's gonna make it in time because he's coming from Spain, but we're gonna go for a team practice tonight. How's the new lens? I dig it. Yeah. You wanna talk about what you're gonna do? Well, we just got here, we rolled up. Everyone's here minus Eric and David. But we're gonna do a little practice flight, uh, make sure we remember everything. And then apparently there's gonna be someone here for a media ride and then we're gonna go fly for fun. So that's the current scoop. I'm gonna break the lights. Here, pull it off. Just pull. Need no some baby oil? oil? No, I was gonna catch it on baby. <laughs> <laughs> Here, you go like this. Just a pretend throw. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> that should do. So, this should be pretty easy, guys. I mean, we're doing the same thing we did at St. Louis, mm -hmm. essentially. And the launch is kind of similar. We're, we're just gonna take off from a field two miles away. <laughs> and we'll work it out with Wayne tomorrow morning. He's there watching the show again, so he understands what we did there. It'd be right. great. He took your wing. What are you going to do about it? I think he's going to... Alright, you hear me, Ethan? Oh, <laughs> God. <laughs> I, had a feel, I heard that over here. We legit just like showed up at this random field, got the whole Paradigm crew here, and now we're up. So our big show is tomorrow, which is Friday. We're just all getting together, ready to practice, and uh, hopefully rock it out tomorrow. The weather's looking really good. Hurricane Florence is actually on the way, but I don't think it's a threat to us here in Kansas. We just walked our performance. Everyone pretty much remembers what to do. It's not that big of a deal anymore. We've done it so many times. But we gotta practice. That's, you just, you can't not practice. No matter how many times you do something, you can always freshen up and do it better. All right, here we go. Team A is cleared. That's Kyle and I. We're headed towards show center. On level, we're gonna start with a synchro spiral. Well, that was just about our worst synchro spiral ever. Just at a sink. All right, sat is done. My hand is dying because I didn't have the right grip. David is up top doing his high acro as we're starting our stack formation. Ethan's leading, Kyle's second, I'm third. Adriel's behind me. All right, stack pass number one. All right, we're turning in for the break. All right, practice number one. We're gonna do one more, they said, so we're just going back over to our holding area. I'll uh, scrub this over with some jazzy music. I'm gonna peace out and concentrate on this one. We'll get it dialed. Um, 
first one was better than the second one, we'll talk through and debrief that stuff tomorrow morning um, or tonight later. Uh, basically, just timing stuff. Um, how'd you guys feel about it? Secret spiral sucked. They got better as we practiced. No, they did. Uh, after we practiced, like I would fly up and like I'd look at Tucker and I'd be like, because <laughs> they, they sucked. But then after we practiced them, it was just timing. That's all. Check it out. This is home for tonight, the Walmart parking lot. We're van life in it. We're turning in early. It's like 9, 9.30 or something. We gotta be up early tomorrow, um, grab showers, and then we have a briefing at 8 a.m. The main show is tomorrow, Friday night, which is at the airport, not over the river. Then the separate show is gonna be over the river, and that's Saturday and Sunday, and that's kind of more midday. So we'll see how that goes. Tomorrow's night show, but stay tuned for all that stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed our excursion from New Jersey to Kentucky. Um, everyone, comment down below thanking Jacqueline for filming tonight. I'm sure she did a great job, but she was getting lots of ground footage and pictures of us, so give her a thumbs up in the comments. See you guys. Peace.